you know, problems in the black community, black parents want to moan about, you know, um, you know, the area's not being safe for them, innit, yeah? So, boom, I don't know if you're from London or wherever, innit, yeah? But let's say London, we've got Stockholm, we've got Hackney, we've got Brixton, we've got Tottenham, we've got Peckham, yeah? There's parents in these areas, Edmonton, there's parents in these areas moaning about how dangerous the area is, yeah, for their child, yeah? So, what they'll do is they will moan about it with their family members and friends, or they'll go down to the House of Parliament, yeah, and protest, for a day or so, and then go back to their normal life, right? And think that, yeah, you know, that's gonna solve the problems, right? And then when they know, when, when the problems aren't solved, yeah, then they're gonna sit back and say, well, the government's not helping our children. The government's not making the, the, the streets for our children safe because they're not putting enough police on the street. But hold on a minute, why are, you relate, why are you relying on the government to keep your child safe? Why don't you save up your money? Why don't you make sacrifice and move out to a safer environment? Yeah, you don't have to move a million miles away. Yeah, obviously I don't know where people them are from, but let's say you're from North London, yeah, go to Essex, yeah, go to flipping um, Hertfordshire, yeah, you don't have to move all the way up here like uh, Northampton and whatever, you don't have to move a million miles away, innit, yeah, but at the end of the day, right, if you save up your money for a little bit, yeah, two, three years, make sacrifice, yeah, you'll be able to afford even a little place, yeah, a little place in a safe environment, but they don't want to do that. Because it's easier to complain about problems that you know will never be solved than actually solve them for yourself. You know, right? Let me just make one thing clear right now, yeah? There will always be young black people in London, so long as black people um, occupy London, there will always be young black people killing each other, yeah? We're not going to eradicate that problem, yeah? Yeah, we're never going to get down to zero murders and zero stabbings, yeah? Around the world, there's always going to be places where people are killing each other. Yeah? So as a parent, if your child's in a dangerous environment, yeah, don't 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 wait for the police yeah, to clean up the area. You take action and save up your money and move out to, a, to the safer environment. But they don't want to do that because that means that they have to make sacrifice. That means that, whoa, boy, they can't wear them Balenciagas, you know, or they can't wear that, drive that Mercedes, you know or they can't go out with their friends so often, they might have to work Saturday and Sunday. They might have to work until 8 p.m. instead of finishing at five o'clock. They don't want to do that. They don't want to do that, it's laziness. Yeah? It's laziness. Any parents and them watching them watching this right now, yeah, you are responsible for your child's safety, yeah, as much as you can. You can't help what happens to them once they leave the street and go out to the shops, yeah? But you can save them by not making them having to go to the shops in Brixton, yeah? You might put them in an area like St. Albans or whatever, and you're way safer. So parents, they're responsible for their child's safety, not the police. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like extra protection, yeah?